All right, good morning. I'm drilling me a three quarter inch hole for my for my drain. Get ready to hook up my uh, my city connection, and uh, I finish drilling the hole, and I'll be right back. All right, got my water filter installed. Getting ready to plumb it in. I'm going to be putting a uh, putting a bypass valve and also a uh, um, a valve a little bypass valve to be able to shut it off if I want or if I'm changing it out um, but my fresh water tanks will also go through the filter as well as my city connection right there all right I'll be back okay the plumbing is done. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is uh, show you Let me try to zoom in and show you the stuff. Anyway, there's my supply. It's kind of the dirty one down at the bottom going into that white pipe. That's what supplies the coach. All right. That right there is a drain in case I want to drain the whole system. And it's got a valve. Okay. All right. So if I ever want to, if I ever want to drain the entire system, I basically open that valve. Of course, there's no water here. And assuming that I'm draining my tanks, okay the water would come in go up come down and then f find its way there but the lowest point on the trailer for for water you know from the from the lines and the water tank and everything would would just gravity right out out of there this right here you see my my pipe there coming out of the actuator, which, and there's the pump. Basically, if I ever want to drain my tanks, I just you know, open this valve here. The water will come up, go down, come out, and, and just go right out the uh, the bottom of the trailer. Now, that might not be the best way to do it, but it'll work. But some water's gonna wanna go, go that way. But at the end of the day, if this valve is open, okay, which it is now, but if I, if I close it, okay, then, you know, the water will just do its thing. But let's just say I've got it open. Um, unless I put another valve in here, which yeah, I might do. But anyway, the water's going to come up, it's going to come out, it's going to go down. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go into the coach, but at some point, if there's no you know, uh, sink valve or anything. If everything's closed in there, it the water won't have anywhere to go that way, so it'll just come down here and eventually just go out and drain out the bottom. So I'm not too worried about that. All right, let me crimp some of this stuff up, and then I'm going to hook some damn water up and see how many leaks we got. Um, got my water filter. This is my inside. <laughs> And this is coming out, okay? So if I ever want to not utilize this filter, I just, I shut this valve, which it's shut right now, and then the water coming in will bypass that and go down and, and supply the trailer. Um, 
I also put a valve over here so that if if I'm bypassing the uh, filter from the inside and I shut it then this water right here would want to come down go around and and possibly come across and go back up into the out which we don't want that to happen what I need right there is a is a check valve one-way check valve and I don't have one but I'll pick one up uh, and then I can alleviate that uh, that valve right there but anyway all right I'll be back okay here we go Leave that pressure on. Everything is as dry as it can be. Not a single drop of water. Okay. All right, now what I'm going to do is put some valves in <coughs> so that I can fill my tanks with the city water connection right there. So I'm going to put a couple of valves here to bypass the pump and then I'll be able to fill my tanks from there all right let me uh let me get a little further ahead and then I'll show you my progress <laughs> 